This is a fly here. Now you can basically change the colour of the butt at the back and uh, keep the body the same if you want. Uh, you can change it to chartreuse, flying green, blue even, whatever, whatever colour you have, that will still keep going. But in this one I'm using two threads and it's a UTC thread and 70. In this case this is a fire orange one, fluorescent fire orange which is really, as you can see, very red more than anything. And the other thread is just the same UTC 70 but in black. Now start off with the fluorescent fire orange first. Now I'm just going to start it at the back to form the tag. Just basically the same way you would start at the eye. Just come around two or three turns. Now you cut away or I usually break this off. The faster you can do that the better. Just go down about maybe a mil and a half or two. Come back up. Now I like to carry one all the way up towards the eye. Change threads at the eye. This will help keep everything nice and level. Change over to the, the black. Just come over it. Come down. I usually come down about the thorax length. And trim away both the waist piece of black and the fine orange thread. Now you keep it a wee bit thinner. The best thing to do is to Spin the bobbin holder anti-clockwise, and this will flatten the thread for you. And just carry one down until you probably in line with the the bar with the hook. It's right there. The quill. This is the peacock eye that's stripped to the, the fine hair. And I've used bleach to do that. Take one off. Now I'm going to tie this in so the body tapers. The best way to do that is to basically tie it in at this point here, mid, midway down, halfway down, you'll see it starts to taper up. Trim that away. Again, I'll tie this in nearly on the side. Now, again, bring your thread up, touching, so that it's forming a body. You're using the, the thread like a fine floss, so you can form the shape. Now, you're bringing this up round about in this area. If you're counting this area in here without the tag, about two thirds anyway. Just going to flatten the thread a wee bit. Now the quill, you can either have the turns touching, or you can have them as like a rib, meaning spaced out like this. And that's what I'm going to do. More so in the bigger size flies like this one, the size 10. Now, this is a B170, just in case I haven't mentioned it. The 170 is a standard weight, weight fly hook, medium wire, and it's very good for this type of fly. You can use a curved hook, or you can use a, like a grubber or something like that, or even the 175 if you want it a wee bit heavier. Now for the thorax cover, now you can use Peril, you can use my Opal Mirage, or a favourite, my main, is this one here, there's the Ice Blue. Ice blue, ice blue pearl, it's called. You can use the medium or the large. This is a large. Now I've slightly stretched it a bit just to reduce it, the width of it. You'll not lose the colour. And you catch this on the top. And just wind your thread down, touching. Okay, the length of the thorax you want is there. It's fine. The wing buds can be... Well, my, one of my favourites, the sunburst. Sunburst is, you'll find, is stays yellow, but it's got the very orange at the edge to it, the orange edge. I don't know if you can see it there, but there it's there. Now you need two of these, one for either side. And then what I'm going to do here is catch these in, just separate them first. Just line up the ends. These are quite thin, so I want to catch it in further up. I'm going to catch this one so that it's 
enough to hold it a couple of turns just to position the goose by it. Another one just to hold. So you want the, the natural curve of the by it to come away from the hook, which is like that. Now obviously they're too long unless you want horns, so I don't want horns. I trim them away. And then carry one down to the eye. Try and help with a taper in the thorax, just come back up, two thirds or so, back down, come back up, and then back down, about halfway sorry, and then back down. Bring, I'm keeping the thread tight, I'm just going to fold these goose bites down towards the eye, come round with a loose turn, now what I'm going to do here is pull them in, position them so that they're nice and tight and cross like that on the top. Just a look at the position of the, the bias. That one needs to be pulled a wee bit tighter. All we do is pull the bias and tighten up with the thread for two or three turns and then you can either, like I'm doing here, just break them off. You've got to keep the thread tight and then bring over your thorax cover. Nice and tight. Down towards the eye, just a couple of turns, come back up, just fold it back, keep the thread tight at this point, to three turns for a finish, down, back down towards the eye, trim away the thread, trim away the flash. There you go. Now, in all that, you're tying on and tying off and forming a shape at the same time, it's just you're trying to just be economical with the thread turns and just forming the, the shape of the fly. And then you can either use varnishes, super glue, whatever you like to use, or what's most popular now is the, the resins, the UV resins. I'm just using a light version. First I usually like to build up the thorax with the resin all the way around. Just if you can rotate your vice like this. It's much easier to spread it. Just have a look at the shape. It's fine. You can come in and set the resin. Top and bottom. And then you can put some in the body. You can dye or do it all at the same time. But I'm just going to do it that way. I want a very light coat of the resin on the body. I don't want too much. All the way down and onto the the red butt or tag, whatever you want to call it. So you can you can see I'm retaining the vices, just making sure it's it's on the thread turns and the uh, tag and evenly coated. If you've got too much you can always take it off then once you're happy you can come in and set the resin with the dot. I like to do top and bottom. Well you've got to anyway so. Now you can leave it like that or what I prefer to do is put a very thin coat of varnish all the way around. Just seals everything up. Don't have to do this, it's just something I prefer to do, it's just my own personal preference. There we go. And that basically is a very popular quill buzzer with the, the red button.